going here. Okay, getting ready to uh, investigate. Plug that nearly got burned up. I don't know if you can see that in here. Uh, this is the six way cord that was plugged into it. I just cleaned it up and just sandpapered best it could. But this top one, uh, the microwave, the series came on microwave like it caught it on fire. It was heating it up. And, uh, so, I'm going to get my other phone here. I should already had it going, I forgot. But, uh, we're going to see if we can, uh, we need to check that wiring in that plug. I'm going to replace the plug no matter what. So, uh, I'm going to get my other camera here, and I'm going to, and now there's a close-up of the damage, the burnt plug, bottom one was, you know, no problem, it just had a lamp and stuff plugged in, actually it was an extension cord with a lamp and some foam and stuff in there, and uh, the uh, six-way that goes around to the microwave, I already showed it before, and I cleaned it up. You can still see signs. I cleaned it up best I could with some sandpaper. Got, got it to where it didn't make good contact. But uh, we used the... Uh, we got a new microwave. And Sears uh, Kenmore is the one that did this. And uh, it was still working, but it was, it was, you know, just got lucky that the bulb noticed it while I was warming something up. But um, the new one is an RCA. I just got it yesterday. And we went ahead and plugged it in because I hadn't got to doing this yet, got around to doing this yet. And uh, it sounded kind of funny. We thought maybe the fan was hitting something, but uh, then I smelt that burning wire smell. So we shut it all down, and then I plugged it into my... I have a 20-amp extension cord out coming from the garage and 20-amp circuit. From the, that I set up for my welder. Plugged it into that and it didn't make as much noise, still noisy. And uh, I'm going to stop this little close up video now. And um, it's, uh, it cooks fine. So now <coughs> I just want to get this. Um, can't, my leads on my meter, they're. they're they're not long, and I don't have any attachments, so I can't test anything until I get the cover off. I wanted to kind of see if there's possibly any reduced voltage, because maybe the wires have been heated up so much that they've started making resistance in them. I believe, I believe I have been told or seen that before, actually, in a YouTube video by somebody that was uh, pretty well seemed like, seemed like they knew what they were doing but uh, of course a lot of people can do that but I mean I I did building I started doing building maintenance in 1975 and I was taught a lot of things that, that I learned about you know AC electricity I worked in cars a lot so I got a pretty good idea it's just remembering things is my problem nowadays so let's so we can get there's a table in the way here a little end table in a different position here. oh i'm sitting on my little stool because my knees can't really stand to be crapped on all the time but there's my light i got my magnifying glass and light yeah let's see I don't think the wires are melted. Oh yeah, okay, they just attached to the top lugs there. So that's good. I was afraid, of course, just because they're not melted don't mean they haven't been heated up an awful lot. So let's go ahead and... I know it's hot. 
got to lighten it up. I guess you better turn the light on. There we go. Let's see. It's still hunting, so I'm assuming it's got some pulses. There we go. 124. Oh, the light wants to go on, but I can see it. 124.4. Tricky to hit that. Yeah, I can't do it quick enough. Okay, so 124.4 is what it stands. Now, the problem is. Uh, being able to uh, <coughs> figure out what breaker my biggest problem right now I went out there and looked at the breaker box and uh, I'm bugged Dead bug wings. I went there and looked at the breaker box and I couldn't. And there's paint on this. It's been painted. It's been in here a long time. So I don't know. I've got my light plugged into an extension cord so it won't go out. I know which one it's on. So there's no telling when I'll be turning off. But and I've changed them hot. Especially when I put on. Even the last time, a couple times I did it, I just put on. I used to have some really good rubber gloves I could wear, and I've done it without them, but I don't like to. But I uh, have uh, I have used those neutral, blue neutral nitrile gloves. They they give you some. It's not going to protect you from a big arc of electricity, but. You know, just like barely touching the edges or something. I, I think they'll do help quite a bit. But that's so. There, got it. That's a pretty sharp. Pretty sharp uh, screwdriver. There for that. The other one was too dull to get in there. Yeah, it's breaking that paint out. But I'm going to have to pry on that to get it off of there. Well, I need to go get my utility knife and trim so I don't mess up the paint past the plug cover. So I'm going to have to do that. So I'll turn this video off and go get my utility knife and look at my breakers again and see if I'm not going to turn it off. Right.